Hello there, my darling friends. Jan of Jan Hicks Creates here. Coming to you today with a little mini floss tube and sneak peek because Sue Morelli asked for a sneak peek and what Sue wants, Sue gets. Hi, Sue. Love you. So, new design. I had had this started. This is called Florographica. I had had this started, um, the design, mostly done before I started designing the Cosmo design, the Earth Laughs. So I got back to that this 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 week and got it finished designing and couldn't wait to dive right into it. And I figured since I was going to be showing you this, I'd show you a few other things, just a little mini floss tube um, to get your weekend started right. So I'm going to leave that sitting there. I will get back to that in a minute. I'm going to turn off the pattern here because the tablet's probably going to fall anyway. All right, so what else do I want to show you? First of all, Serendipity Release Part 2 came out uh, yesterday, the 1st. Oh, look, it's the 2nd, April Fool's Day, a day late. Did any of you get pranked? I sure did. I will share more of that in a minute as well. Serendipity part two is this line of flying geese here. So happy with how this is looking. So this is, if you remember, this is Fat Quarter Shop's annual charity stitch along and quilt along to raise money for the Make-A-Wish Foundation of South and Central Texas. If you are interested in joining, the pattern is free, but they do ask that you donate $15 to the Make-A-Wish Foundation. And all the links, I will put all the links below, of course, um, the, and you can find the information all about that on the Fat Quarter Shop website. But this is mine. I am stitching this on 36 count Witching Hour fabric by Color and Cotton, and the um, floss is the Called For Weeks Dye Works. So very, very happy with how this is looking. So that is one thing I wanted to show you. I wanted to show you also, one of you had asked about um, my knitting, saying that I hadn't been showing any knitting, and I don't do a whole lot of knitting, but I do have the Wilson Ruana by Kitty B Knits, who is the um, my friend who's a knit designer from, um, who works at a good yarn sarasota where i used to work can't really see the lace pattern as well but it's growing so this is the ruana that i'm knitting and i know it's kind of hard to see on the video like this but it has two front panels that you knit for it's a 12 row lace repeat and you repeat that those 12 rows i think 13 times and then maybe a few more rows of that lace repeat at the end and then you join the two panels together and create the back so the back is just a repeat of the front only joined together so i decided to do the front panels both at the same time the directions are written to do them separately and then join them but i'm doing them both at the same time and then i'll join them the Yarn called for yarn is Miss Babs Catadin. I, of course, happen to have a couple of skeins of Miss Babs Catadin um, that I could use. This one is called Zombie Party. I think it's Zombie Something Party. So this is moving along. I think I just finished my 11th repeat and started on my 12th. So that is the knitting. This is my, whenever we're out traveling, this is my road trip knitting because it's it's much easier to knit on the road while we're traveling than it is to stitch. The needles are much bigger. <laughs> Speaking of needles, knitting needles, OMG. Um, one of my friends shared with me yesterday a post by Scassell. Um, they, if you know knitting, you know they make the Addy knitting needles. They have come out with a Wi-Fi enabled knitting needle that will keep track of your stitches and let you know when you have too few or too many stitches on the needle than what your pattern calls for. I don't know how it works, but it's a, it's a thing that's been needed, I guess. I don't know, it just kind of blows my mind. 
But one of the other reasons I felt I really had to do a video today was because of this. The Knights Who Say Knit. <laughs> this is a new knit along by Mara Anna, Mary Annarella, who is Lyrical Knits on Ravelry. That is her design name. And she is starting this mystery knit along. Let's see, when does it actually start? Um, I didn't even look. When does it start? Timing. Let's see, the first clue is April 26th. So yeah, this is, oh no, the first clue will be re released April 19th. So this is one of the ones that, you know, it's a mystery knit along. You don't know what you're making. Um, but there are five clues in total. The reason I felt, I wasn't going to, but the more I read, the more I laughed. This is, um, her theme for this is based on the Monty Python and the Holy Grail movie. And I don't know that I'd say it's one of Mike and my's favorite, but we do love it. We've watched it a couple times. We may have to give it another watch. And all throughout the description, the pattern PDF that, that what you get when you buy it is just kind of like the intro and what you need, materials and that kind of thing, gauge and all that. There are references to the movie. She has teamed up with Miss Babs to make um, sets, yarn sets for the yarn, for the, the and it, it is a shawl. Um, and the names of the sets are just hilarious. And when you go in to the actual product, there's the quote that comes from the movie that the name of the product is, the set is based on. And <laughs> I just, I had to read them all. I, I laughed at them all. I mean, it just, if you like the movie, if you're a knitter, you have to join in. This is the one that Mary is using for hers. So you can pre-order some of these. Some of these she already has in stock, Miss Babs does. I mean, King of the Britons. Who are the Britons? Well, we all are. We're all Britons, and I am your king. Didn't know we had a king. I thought we were an, an autonomous collective. I mean, how can you not love Monty Python? So yes, I had to do this. Now, of course, I happen to have some Miss Babs in my stash. <laughs> so this is a set of... The, the pattern calls for two full skeins and then six of the yummy two ply toes and so I have this set of the yummy two ply toes so I am using this and then I got two of these to be my contrast color. I highly encourage any of you who are knitters and who are Monty Python fans to join me because it's I just think it's going to be a hoot. She has a little um, reel on Instagram. I mean it's just yeah join me. I'd love to have you. The last thing I need is another knitting project, but I'm going to do it anyway. So that's my knitting stuff. A little bit of my stitching stuff. Um, okay, so my new design. Let me go to that. My inspiration piece for my new design is this. This is just some tile work that I found on Pinterest. I found it a while ago, and my brain started working with it. Um, my colorway is totally different, although this is certainly lovely here. I had had a colorway in my brain for a while that I wanted to use. So let me show you that. Get these things all out of the way. All right, so it is a mixture of um, different over-dyed flosses. So the border, the borders here, and by the way, this is an extra design fabric called Old Linen. It is a 40 count, and I am loving the little stitches on that. So the, the dark brown looking um, floss is, hold on, it's in here somewhere. There we go. It is Weeks Dye Works Rust. The kind of russet color is Classic Color Works red current. This kind of greenish, lighter green up here is, which one is that? That's this one. Weeks Dye Works Sage. 
This light tan here is Classic Colorworks Straw Hat. Let's see, this lighter color in the middle of the flower there is Classic Colorworks Bunny Honey. This green here is Classic Colorworks Joshua Tree. And then two additional colors that I haven't used yet are Classic Colorworks Cinnamon Toast and Weeks Dye Works Broom Tree. So, I am loving, 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 loving how these flosses looked on this fabric. I was originally going to use Weeks Dye Works Linen, which is a kind of a pinky cream colored fabric, but then I pulled this one out and the, it's just so rich. I had to do it. So anyways, I will probably publish this before I get it all stitched. The stitch count on this is 217 by, no, 227 by 217. So it, again, is a bigger one. So I, I will probably publish this because this isn't going to get um, as much attention. I won't be speed stitching this as I did the Cosmo and as I did Seasons in Lace Spring because I, or Winter, because I do have to get Seasons in Lace Spring designed and stitched soon. Actually, the schedule for that isn't going to be until um, the end of May because it will be using the May Silk Floss from Fat Quarter Shop. So, I think that is all that I had for you today. Just, a, like I said, just a little short one to share with you. Just these little tidbits. Let me know if you think you might join me for that knit along. It is a mystery knit along, like I said, so I know a lot of people are not totally comfortable with mystery knit alongs. I actually love them. I think they are a lot of fun. I don't know that I will keep get keep caught up with it because, um, like I said, I don't do a whole lot of knitting regularly anymore. But, um, yeah, I'm going to give it a whirl. Balance. I need to find balance in my life, right? All right, guys, I think that is all for today. Oh, no, there was one other thing I wanted to show you on this fabric, which kind of, um, kind of... Uh, threw me for a loop. Let me put this here. Do you see that? Yeah, that's a hole. I noticed it last night and looked at it a little bit, thinking it was just a slub, and nope, my actual linen threads are cut. I don't know how this happened. I know I didn't do it. Um, you know, I, I cut the fabric, but my scissors weren't anywhere near in the middle here. Um, I, I don't know whether there was some kind of slub there that came out. Um, so yeah, I, my stitching won't cover it. I'm going to be having another little leafy thing coming out here, but it's not going to quite cover that. So I know you can like pull some threads from the edge and actually I do have, you know, enough fraying here. I might try and weave in there. There's actually two and two. It's actually a nice little square that was cut, wasn't it? Um, I don't want to make it look worse, so I might just get some fray check, but yet there is a definite hole. I mean, those threads are just gone. It's not like they're, I guess there's a little bit in the back here, but I don't think it's enough to actually cover the hole. Anyways, let me know your advice. Um, I'm afraid if I try and weave something in, weave in some of the threads, that it'll just make it more noticeable, but that hole is pretty darn noticeable itself, isn't it? <sighs> so yeah, advice welcome. And with that, I think I will close and do some more stitching. Love you guys. I will see you next week. Have a wonderful weekend for those who celebrate. Happy Easter. I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.